Buongiorno a tutti. Good day, everyone. It's uh, my great pleasure to welcome you to the 12th edition of the International Wine Tourism Conference, IYNTC. And my name is Anthony Swift, and I am the IYNTC event uh, director. Before we go any further, I'd like to say on behalf of the IYNTC team uh, that we hope that everyone is staying safe and keeping well. And thank you for being with us here today. Last year, 2019, in Rioja La Vesa, uh, Alava, País Vasco, Spain, March 13th, we officially announced that Friuli Venezia Giulia, uh, as the host destination, the main support of IYNTC 2020, with days fixed for 24th and 25th of March. Fermentation of the event uh, was almost complete. Uh, it was abruptly interrupted by lockdowns imposed by governments in response to the pandemic, and therefore making it impossible for people to travel to the event to the delightful city of Trieste. We had therefore to see how to kickstart the almost complete fermentation of IYNTC. So we took um, a collective decision to postpone IYNTC until 27th tomorrow, 28th of October, confident that the in-person event would be possible and health and care issues well in place. Alas, fermentation was again interrupted, almost complete, for, um, this time due to travel restrictions, making it difficult for many of our international friends and colleagues uh, to commit to being with us. At the beginning of this month, and in close consultation with our host, Promo Turismo, Friuli Venezia Giulia, we decided we had to quickly blend a new IYNTC by transitioning the event to a virtual one. So here we are, and uh, we have, I must say, an excellent vintage for you. Uh, but before we give you a taste of things to come during the next five days, uh, I'd like first to thank the team at Promo Turismo, Friuli Venezia Giulia, uh, and to the team at the, the conference organizer called The Office for all their hard work they've done over the last 18 months. It's been a long 18 months to make sure you have a stimulating and fruitful IYTC. We'd also like to thank our gold sponsors, the Lower Austrian Tourist Board and Vitinera, both of which have seminars included in the conference program. Um, during the next uh, couple of days. Wine tourism, without doubt, is one of the safest kinds of tourism one can do in these difficult times. So you're in the right business, uh, so stay in there. Keeping customers safe is easy, uh, and the number and variety of activities abound in a winery and the vineyards. Wine Tourism 21 will bud again in April with that's the Northern Hemisphere, of course, <laughs> with diverse activities such as pruning, leaf identification, grape identification, segways in the vineyards, wine country bike tours, yoga, horse riding, balloon trips over the, the region. And all of you watching now or are watching the on-demand replays will win for sure. You will thrive in the new normal. Those people, their heads in the barrel, fermentation tanks in the sand, uh, may well lose. Um, market strategies may well have to be redefined, of course, but the future is bright and we're here to help you get right through uh, these challenging times with our three-day talk program and, uh, of course, the B2B workshop, which is on Thursday and Friday of this week. For the conference program, we have a blend of world-class speakers for you over the next three days, providing relevant and current topics uh, for you, the tour operator, for you, the incoming, outgoing agent, for you, the whole team at the winery, the guide, the winemaker, the owner, for you, working in the Oreca sector industry, for you, working in the tourist board, for you working in regional government, for you studying tourism at university, and for you, the entrepreneur, who's maybe just starting out in the wine tourism industry, or has just um, this minute begun, or is thinking about it. 
And of course, for you and each and every one of us who are working uh, in the wine and culinary industry. Let's just turn off my email account. Sorry about that. So here's a flavor of things to expect today and right through to Friday. In a moment, we'll, we will discover the wine and culinary delights of the Friuli Venezia Giulia region with Mr. Lucio Pomiero, the chief executive and managing director of Promo Turismo um, Friuli Venezia Giulia. Okay, that's coming up in a few minutes now. Later today, we, must, we have must attend talks with Chris Torres from marketing wine tourism in a post COVID world. And we have uh, delighted to have Jonathan Gormuth, liaison officer at the United Nations World Tourism Organization on bringing back wine tourism post COVID-19, restart strategies and opportunities. So plenty of um, ideas for you to, um, to have and to take away. Tomorrow, day two sees Harold Goodwin, London's world travel market responsible tourism advisor and he'll be talking on the business of sustainable tourism. Also on day two, we have regular IOINT speaker, Judith Lewis, on post-COVID website optimization and digital marketing in the wine industry. So you don't want to miss that and, and get ready uh, for that because uh, Judith will be packing in those business ideas and, uh, to get you pruned up and ready for springtime. And I'm sure she'll be giving lots of uh, takeaways for you to download. So. Um, don't miss that one. Later, Peter Sim will be looking at growing your wine tourism bookings using online travel agents uh, and digital distribution. Again, that's uh, one not to miss. And of course, not to mention a host of additional sessions from industry experts such as Christina Mascazzoni, I believe will be um, uh, live from a, a winery in the region. Roberta Garibaldi, and uh, director of the Champagne Tourism Board, Philippe Harant, uh, will be presenting um, project they're doing in, in the region. The B2B workshop component of IYNTC between agents and media and wine tourism experience providers has also been transitioned and, and has been scheduled over two days. Thursday 29th will be uh, meetings between wine tourism uh, experience providers uh, with agents in the Americas, so Canada, USA, uh, Mexico, I think, uh, have, have representation. And uh, next day, Friday the 30th, um, same wine tourism providers will be meeting um, agents specialized in wine tourism or, or part of their businesses from, from all over Europe um, and uh, Asia, and uh, I think there's one or two from Australia. So 62 agents uh, have been accepted to the agent program. So pl plenty of interest from, from agents around the world to um, discover uh, the host destination, uh, other parts of Italy, and of course, uh, the old world uh, in general. So welcome to IYNTC Virtual, with a crisp and fresh taste of Julie Venezia Giulia. Make sure you attend as many of these the events talks as possible and don't worry if you um, miss any because uh, we'll serve them up for you uh, on demand uh, to watch from the safety of your own home uh, and you can have as many glasses as you like. So without further ado, um, let's uncork IYNTC 2020 uh, with session 1.1, uh, Destination Friuli Venezia Giulia. Giulia um, so I'd like to um, welcome um, Lucio Gomiero, Mr. Lucio Gomiero, Chief Executive, Managing Director of Promo Turismo, Friuli Venezia Giulia. Buongiorno, uh, Lucio. How, how are you? Buongiorno. Buongiorno, Anthony. Buongiorno to everybody. Right. So... We just wanted to, um, before we start with Lucio presenting the delightful, varied region of Friuli Venezia Giulia, that uh, if you haven't noticed already on your right of your screen, you have a, a chat box. Uh, I see people saying hello and connecting already. Of course, this is also a place where you can post questions 
Uh, if you have any questions during the, uh, Mr. Cormiero's presentation, then just post them there. We'll get to them at the end of the, uh, of the presentation. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Anthony. It's a really a pleasure to open with you this, uh, this event. I can say good afternoon, I can say good morning, probably good night, because I know that there are all the time zone linked together for this, uh, for this uh, uh, event. It's a pleasure to, I hope uh, we, we are ready to host all of you here in Friuli Venezia Giulia, in Trieste, and then uh, moving around in all region. But unfortunately, uh, the pandemic forced us to change our plan. But uh, Anthony, I disagree completely about the word virtual. It's still uh, real in the way that we can. We use, uh, we use uh, uh, digit, we use instead of atoms, but it's uh, really, it's uh, not virtual. It's, uh, let me say, the most really event that we can do regarding, of course, uh, the, 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 the pandemic. And I think that in the next days, all the speakers, congratulations for the number of speakers, for the, the different, for the different subjects that they're going to, to, to talk about. I think that it will become a, a real, the most real event about uh, enoturismo in, in, in the world. So just to start, uh, if we can move in the presentation and... Uh, oh, uh, Anthony, oh, great. Okay, I will spend 20 minutes with you just to introduce briefly uh, our our region. We were very proud to, to host you, and we want to just to uh, give you a taste of uh, what what uh, what is in in our region. So before before we start, we can have a look uh, to a video. We can. Can we have, we have a look at a short video? Giulia Venezia Giulia is in the heart of uh, in the heart of Europe. It's a crossing point uh, among different landscape because we have the Alps, we have the Dolomites, we have the Adriatic Sea, and we have the Collio region where we have uh, great great uh, uh, white uh, wines. And in in the in the region, I will show you uh, later on some. Uh, some nice picture about the elegant cities that you can uh, that you can visit. But it's important to know that if you look at the new Europe, uh, you can identify, let us say, Friuli Venezia Giulia, like like the the, the heart of the Europe. Uh, we are 1.2 million habitants, so we are we are small. But is as, as I told you before, it's a crossing point between uh, the style of Italian. The strongness of uh, Slavians and the rationale of German cultures. And we were the scenario of the two world wars, so we have a, a strong heritage about that. So it's really a kaleidoscope of tradition, language, and religions. And what is important for, for us is that if you join us and to come in this region, then you can appreciate the difference, the variety, 
the numbers of different landscape and, and culture that you can taste in a very short time. Because if we look at the time, where the time that you can use to move from one place to another, if you are in the middle of the region, in the center of the region, in one hour, in less than one hour, you can reach every place of the region. This means that if you, if you land in Trieste airport, you can have a swim at the Grado Beach in 20 minutes, believe me. And if you are in Udine, you can start skiing in Tervisio in 50 minutes. Or if you want to go by bike, you can choose a different, different bike track crossing the region and the one Alpe Adria Trail crossing out. Austria, Slovenia, and Friuli Venezia Giulia. So you can you can choose which is your 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 your, your preferred mean to to move. The mountains, the mountains, they are incredible. They are not so high, but they they are very interesting because you have more than 100 kilometers. This is more or less 125 kilometers of ski slopes and more than 100 kilometers also of cross country. Uh, ski trails. Remember, we are we are part of the Dolomites and we are part of the Alps. So in that sense, the landscape change a little bit from one of our uh, ski area from the others. And we have uh, move to the next one, and we have uh, six ski area. We we love uh, all all of them, of course, uh, and uh, each of them. I have specific, specific characteristics, not only concerning the, the skiing, but also concerning the culture, the habits, the food, the food. So we have Zonkolan. Zonkolan is uh, twinned with uh, Fuji, Monte Fuji in Japan. We have an agreement and every year we have an exchange and we climb by bike uh, the Zonkolan one year and uh, the Fuji the, the following year. We have uh, Tervisio with this uh, high, very high position at the village. And we have a Sella Never that you can find uh, snow also in April and May. And we have a Furnis Sopra and Sauris. Sauris famous also for the, this beautiful baked ham. Piancavallo is very close to the sea. And the Sapada is the new, the new acquisition, put like that, of the region. Uh, he, he, the Sapada municipality decide, decided to join the, the region three years ago and so it is part of, of, of our region. Of course the landscape of, of the mountain changed during, during the summer but it's a really a, a paradise for hiking, for climbing, for mountain biking. Just to give you a number, I mentioned before the Alpe Adria Trail. The Alpe Adria Trail is it's a, a it's a 750 kilometers in, split in uh, 40 stages, more, more or less, uh, from Austria to Slovenia to, 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 to our region. If you look at the Alpe Adria bike, and uh, it was, uh, it was uh, pointed as the best bike track in uh, 2015 in Europe. If you want to walk around the region, you, you have more than 500 path trail to enjoy in the mountain or in the hill or close to the, to the sea. So it's really, really, really a, a, a joyful. The sea, of course, uh, you, you can have lots of experience, but let me move uh, quickly to the next page and to show you the different landscape that you can have in 100, in 130, in 130 kilometers. We start, uh, sorry, the, 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 there is a mistake, I don't know why, but we start from uh, Lignano, okay, on, on the, the west side, then we move to Marano Lagoon, where you can enjoy really in exclusive experience. Then we have uh, then we have Grado. Then we have Grado. Then uh, just moving moving on the east, we have uh, the, uh, many 
natural resource like River Stella. And then uh, we have uh, last uh, the Gulf of Trieste that is less famous, but is really interesting for the cliffs, uh, for the white cliffs uh, that, that you can enjoy and a lot of windy also for, for uh, sports. So it's an incredible uh, crowded uh, landscape in the coast. Just to have uh, some figures in your mind, we have uh, 24 marinas. You imagine how many, how, 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 which is the density of the marina in our, in our region. It's the top, the highest density that you can find in Italy to enjoy our, our Adriatic, uh, our Adriatic uh, Sea. And then uh, most of you probably knows that uh, Trieste is uh, our main, main, main city, is the city of the coffee, is the city of the Bora wind. Probably you have a lot of figures, people that uh, with the umbrella destroyed by the, 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 the Bora, but it's the city also many, a number of uh, writers like uh, James Joyce or Italo, Italo Svevo. Gorizia, Gorizia is famous for the, the First World War, of course, because it was in the between uh, of, of the, the Austrian Empire and, and Italy. But uh, nowadays, it's a, a no borders, a no borders cities, even if the COVID tried to, to change the landscape sometimes, but really Gorizia now is a no border, no border cities. And uh, Gorizia with Novo Gorizia will be, will be, uh, it's just running for the, the capital of the European culture for uh, 2025. So it's a major achievement that we want to, to, to reach with our friends of Slovenia. Udine, Udine is uh, in the middle of, of the region, it's the city of uh, Tiepolo and uh, with lots of uh, beautiful uh, traditional hostilias. Pordenone, Pordenone is famous for, uh, for the painter, the, the painter Pordenone that was that was the, 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 what that he decided to pick up the, the, his name, and it's famous also for Pordenone Legge, a festival of, of, uh, of, uh, of books. Let's have a video. Let's have a video about our cities. Trieste is also the, the city of Bartolana. You know probably that uh, we have the most crowded uh, regatta in the world. In uh, two years ago, we, we had uh, the 2,700 2, 2, boats sailing that day. So it's, uh, it, was, uh, it, was, it was really, really a Guinness, in the, a worldwide Guinness. Unfortunately, this year, Normally it was the, the, the 52 edition, but we are so unlucky. And for the first time there was uh, so much wind, so much uh, raining, so much bad weather that uh, we had to cancel for the first time in the, the history of Barcolana, I repeat, 52 years, we have to cancel, we have to cancel the, 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 the events. Talking about uh, our peculiarity, uh, there is no one region with such amount of uh, UNESCO World Heritage Sites. So Aquileia, we celebrate last year the 2,200 years from uh, its foundation. And uh, it's really a major, a major uh, uh, place of uh, memories of the Roman Empire, um, of, the, of the Roman Empire, a really an open air museum. 
The second, in, the second uh, brand of UNESCO is uh, Dolomites, for co of course, since uh, 2009. Then we have, uh, have uh, Cividale del Friuli, that is a combination uh, of a different, uh, of a different uh, culture, but uh, it was the first Lombard Dushi in, uh, in, uh, in Italy. And then uh, we have Palmanova. Palmanova is an incredible city that uh, you like very much uh, from uh, to have a, a, a site overview. And uh, it was a part of uh, Napoleon's part of the Venetians. So it was really, really a, a, a mix, a mix of presence during the different uh, age of the history. If, uh, if you start from, uh, from Cividale, then you reach Palmanova, and then to finish to Aquileia, it's uh, 42 kilometers, exactly the, the number of kilometers of a marathon. And then we have the marathon, the UNESCO marathon, that link together these three uh, UNESCO, uh, UNESCO sites. Paludi di Venza is something that we have to discover, it's a, it's a, it's a, a prehistoric site. Of course, uh, just to mention, we have a different, different numbers of uh, options to guest you, but recently we launched a new card, a really new card, in where, where, where you can enjoy the different experience of the region from uh, two days to seven days in order to have, uh, let me say, discounts, in order to have uh, fast track in the access, uh, in order to have uh, assistance, in order to have guide, during your tourist uh, uh, experience. For one day, I can guess to you at home. Right? There is no, no, no card. Let's move, uh, let's move to, the, to the food and wine. Let's move to the food and wine business. For us, uh, two years ago, we decided to combine the, the tourist promotion, the tourist promotion with the food and wine, with the food and wine pro promotion. And this is the reason why for us uh, Eno, Eno Turismo is a pillar of our, of our strategy. Remember that uh, in uh, Friuli Venezia Giulia is a land of bi biodiversity. You can find more than half percent of uh, the different types of plants in Italy. So it's an incredible richness that, that we can uh, enjoy. And it's important for visit, uh, for taste, for flavors, for, for, the different, for the different industry that can apply to, to, the, to, the, to the vegetables. And, uh, and uh, of course, we start food and wine talking about prosciutto di San Daniele. Montage in our region. Three years ago, we decided to combine all these, uh, all of these uh, elements of uh, the, the food and wine in uh, in one route, in only one route. So we have uh, we have uh, a regional route in uh, in Friuli Venezia Giulia that combine uh, almost 400 of uh, of uh, operators of a company that are the doors of the wineries, are the doors of uh, agri-food companies, are small restaurants, are small or old ham uh, companies. And sometimes, we, sometimes we, we like to call it our Route 63. Uh, 63 because uh, 63 was the, the year in which uh, the region was founded, in Italy, so the, the formal, the formal, um, the formal contract with the central government to establish the region was of 1963. And there is another re reason for 63 because uh, in Italy the first uh, wine route was established in Friuli Venezia Giulia exactly in 1963. So, so this is the reason why this is the couple of reasons why we decide to call for our international friends, uh, the Route 63 of Friuli, of Friuli Venezia Giulia. Uh, we have an incredible entrepreneur 
farmers, young entrepreneurs that belongs to this uh, to this network to this route, and we are more or less now 400, uh, 100 of the new members uh, join us during during the the lockdown and after the lockdown. So we have a wine, beer, spirits, food, and small craft taste, and also some travel agency and and the service uh, and the service provider. Let's have a, let's have a, let's have a look. Let's have a look to a video, please, because da ragazzi ci trovavamo tutti i giorni nello stesso posto, senza il bisogno di darci appuntamento. Siamo cresciuti insieme, proteggendoci dal mondo e alimentando le nostre speranze. Riuscivamo sempre a sorridere. La vita ci ha poi divisi. Siamo andati lontano, in quel mondo col quale avevamo imparato a parlare. Abbiamo continuato a portare dentro di noi la voce gentile della nostra terra ogni volta che ci sentivamo distanti da quelle giornate trascorse insieme. Poi alla fine siamo tornati tutti qui, nello stesso posto, senza darci appuntamento, per raccontarci le distanze e ricordarci quei giorni che ci avevano uniti nel tempo. Ci ritroviamo abbracciati a questa terra che accoglie tutti. Abbiamo imparato ad aiutarci e a non smettere di stupirci. Ora che ci penso, non abbiamo mai smesso di sorridere. We are, we are coming to a conclusion, but in this chart, uh, it, it is the future that we imagine. And uh, this is the future that we have uh, uh, designed during the lockdown, after the lockdown. So the future is a combination of digital, and you can see on the, the left side, uh, the event that we organized in uh, the middle of May, where people join in a Zoom conference with a glass of wine, a bottle of white wines of, of coming from Fully Venezia Giulia, just to celebrate the end of the lockdown. It was Saturday afternoon and uh, 30 countries was connected, were connected with, uh, with us, with top of white wines of, of Fully Venezia Giulia. And many VIP person decided to, to, to join with us for the toast and, and it was really amazing, amazing, uh, let me say, um, uh, events. And on the, on, the, on the right side, you can find some uh, events that we create. We create uh, events in the Apple Orchards, We create, uh, we create events uh, in the big gardens, in the wineyards, with the great music, typical food, excellent wine. So if the future stay like this, probably we have to avoid the bricks, we have to avoid the building, but we can use uh, the digital and we can use the plein air. And uh, here in Fiume Venezia Giulia, we have a lot of beautiful place where we can enjoy our food, our wine, our, our, our culture in, uh, in uh, plein air, in events that we can organize like concerts in the mountains or at the sea or in the Collio, or in the Collio Hills. And just to finish with, uh, with the video, I want to say that uh, 
in the in the meantime in the meanwhile that we the tourists can't can't travel probably the our product could be the real postcard to send you and in order to keep all the people linked to this region uh, to be ready for the new opening in the in the new future so please if uh, if uh, we can launch the next video it is just a summary of what we have uh, have uh, have discussed uh, so far thank you Thank you very much, and uh, we look forward to meeting you in person, including Venezia Giulia. Thank you, Lucia. Lucia, uh, Ye yes, a nice appetizer. <laughs> oh, <Julia laughs> yes, thank you. We just, um, I just have a quick look here. Any questions? I think most of the uh, comments. Nope. Lots of people from around the world, over, uh, well over 100 um, people watching live, so that's good. Uh, we thank you very much, and uh, we hope to see you uh, in person as soon as possible. Yes, yes, this is the hope for, uh, for everybody. <laughs> okay, so, um, so next up we have uh, uh, session 1.2 with um, Andrea Casade, who will be um, uh, looking at um, uh, food, tourism. Uh, uh, we just discovered that um, he's going to do it in Italian. <laughs> We've kindly asked uh, one of our colleagues uh, to, um, to translate. So um, do, do access the next session, 1.2. Uh, we're starting at uh, four o'clock uh, Central European time. Uh, not sure where, what time that is where you are, then please check the uh, world clock, Google world clock, and uh, you'll find out. Uh, I think it's five, four hours behind in New York, to give you an example, one hour behind in Portugal, uh, uh, one hour behind different studies. Okay, so we'll see you um, in a moment at four o'clock, session 1.2. Bye-bye.